Hello. Well, uh, today I kind of wanted to sort of talk about something a bit different. Um, and that is a trailer. Um, the trailer in question is obviously what the title of a video is. Uh, the Tenet trailer. Uh, the film Christopher Nolan, which will come out next year, next July. Um, and uh, really, it's just the fact that the trailer is out, but not online. Um, the, the trailer came out uh, last month. Or, so whenever, basically, whenever Shaw and Hobbs, the Fast and Furious spinoff, came out. Um, actually, I've been, yeah, last month, I believe, near the end. Um, I don't know <laughs> now. A lot of things have <laughs> gone on uh, with me, uh, frankly. Like, uh, the Iowa State Fair, which uh, uh, still trying to get <laughs> get out of that sort of mindset. But anyway, uh, that aside. Um, but yeah, Sean Hobbs came out. Is that even the name? Hobbs and Shaw. Never mind. Well, Hobbs and Shaw. Well, there you go. I just corrected myself. Cause, uh, there was an article I read uh, from Forbes which talked about the, the lack of a trailer online and how possibly we'll get the the first trailer, the full trailer, in uh, around the time of the Last Jedi, and basically how the teaser is really would be probably a disappointment to many because nothing is really revealed. All it is is uh, John David Washington walks up to a bullet hole, uh, a window, and then cuts to like. text, same stuff, and then we see that scene again, but from a different angle or so, and then it's sort of like time is manipulating or something, and uh, I don't know, there's a lot of videos on here that talk about uh, the trailer, so if you want that, just go and find another video regarding that, because there's many videos on that, and I'm sure if by this point you've probably seen them. Uh, and quite honestly, basically this guy in the Forbes article who wrote that, he was saying, it's probably a good idea we have, we don't have it because it offers nothing to people really about what the plot is. Except saying, you know, time has come for like a Time is, has come for a new protagonist, and time has come for a new mission. Things like that. You see John David Washington, and then at the end you see like a SWAT team, and then him in an oxygen mask, and then that's it. Just as tenant after that. And really, it's like, you know, because of that, nobody will, if it was online, people wouldn't really like it. People wouldn't really get that excited. It's like nothing special. But people who are Nolan fans, fans of his work, such as myself, we would like it. I would like it. You know, granted, it's like they say, like 40 second trailer, so granted, there's nothing really groundbreaking about it. But because of the whole thing with time, many say it's like a sequel to Inception, or he's making it, Christopher Nolan's making his own sort of cinematic universe what Quentin Tarantino has where there's multiple films. His movies are pretty much connected in, in some way, with the exception of Jackie Brown, who, which has no relation to the Tarantino universe. Um, either the realer than real universe and the movie universe that Tarantino has. 
and some think because of Inception and with their whole thing with time, this film is part of that. You know, that has to be because you know time. They keep saying time, and time was important in Inception with the dreams and how long you could be in there, and or how time disorient is disoriented and slows down and this and that. Um. So yeah, there's people thinking it's connected to Inception. It's a sequel to Inception, or in some way, the, the two have to be sort of uh, connected in any in some way. What I've seen from people talking about it. Um, now, granted, maybe I shouldn't say it has to be like how they're saying, but many people seem to want that to happen because in the past, Christopher Nolan has thought of maybe a sequel or so of Inception, or actually possibly even like a uh, a video game, which has yet to even happen, expressed interest in that, hasn't happened, um, would have been cool if it did, but yeah, I don't know, I, um, I don't, uh, I'm not sure what to think of that, just as I'm, like, not sure I agree with the whole thing of, you know, be the, People not, uh, wouldn't be really excited about this 40-second trailer. That should, really tells us nothing at all. Um, some also speculate because of sort of like the little information we have about the movie. Except that it's basically going to be an epic. And it's going to be action in it. Uh, you know, it's like science fiction. Some think it could be his own, Christopher Nolan's own sort of James Bond. This is his James Bond, since he's often said he loves James Bond, but he probably will never make a James Bond film. So this is his sort of James Bond. He's his sort of tribute, if you will. Which, you know, is sort of cool to think about. Um, in that regard, and if it's true. I'm not sure if it is, because you know, we don't really have much information to go on. And the trailer really doesn't tell us much. Um... Though I will say it is a bit frustrating with the whole teasers not being here online in any capacity because not everybody's a fan of the Fast and the Furious franchise. And um, while I've heard Hobson Shaw, I just have to make sure I'm saying it correctly and not getting it the other way around. You know, while and some people just won't really be interested in seeing Hobbs and Shaw. I'm sort of one of those people. I mean, I have nothing against the Fast and the Furious franchise. I think they're entertaining films. But they're not movies I got to go out to the theater to see. And I think if I saw this film, if I saw that film in the big screen, it would just really be because I want to see the Tenet trailer. So I can just say I saw it. Before it ever hit online, if it ever will hit online. Uh, and I haven't even seen a bootleg sort of uh, version of it, like somebody in the theater filming it with their phone. I'm a bit surprised that hasn't happened yet. Uh, and if it has happened, uh, Warner Brothers must have struck and it's, it was gone just as soon as it was put up. Because I haven't seen it. If anybody has seen such a thing, you know, curious to see what you think. Um, you know, if you haven't seen it on the big screen, you, you saw it online somewhere. Like, where did you see it, and how did you, um, how did you come across it? Um, but yeah, I don't know. I sort of just disagree with the, uh, our, our th author of the article. Bah, can't really talk, but is new, that people wouldn't really be excited. And granted, we don't know much about the film, but people would be pumped. People would be just want something from Christopher Nolan. Anything about his new movie. Anything. And Warner Brothers hasn't released it on their YouTube channel or anything. Which frustrates me. Has, seems to frustrate many people. I'm sort of a bit disappointed, but, you know, life goes on. It's like, 
as a, as disappointed as I am in the original trailer after so many weeks. Uh, life goes on, and it will continue to go on. All I know is I'm going to see the film, so on that ground, I, right there, yeah, well, I'm, it's all fine for me. Um, and you know, the first tr teaser, or the first trailer, or the teaser for Dunkirk really didn't say anything. Had some stuff like, like, uh, said, like, this movie basically from Christopher Nolan. It showed what the movies he made were. Like, at the point of crisis and stuff, at the point of annihilation, like, uh, survival is victory. While while you get shots of the sea of some soldiers, and then the last big thing is all the guys on the mole, and you hear a stuka coming down. Uh, you don't see the stuka, and uh, you just hear it, and all the guys look up, and then they all sort of like duck, and then it that's it says Dunkirk, and that's it. Um, so in a way, I think this trailer teaser. Is somewhere along that, that those lines. It's just there, just is there to say, "Hey, get ready for this next this film next year." It's from Christopher Nolan, so you know, get prepared. That's really it. But the, I don't know why they haven't released the trailer yet. So on YouTube, I'm not sure what the reason is. Is to get more hype for the film. I don't know. Apparently, uh, people searching for the film has decreased quite a bit. Like, after news broke of, oh, the teaser is out. But it's with, it's a surprise, and it's with, you know, Sean Hobbs. Hobbs and Shaw. I keep mixing up the two. Uh, it's with the Fast and the Furious uh, spin off. It's the only way you can ever see it at the, at this point in time is with that film. If you don't go and see it, well, you're never you're not gonna see it. I don't understand that. Uh, people are already excited from the get go when news broke of early this year that Christopher Nolan's new film will come out in 2020. Filming will like uh, begin May. It's like casting now and stuff. Like this was earlier this year, like. I think February or so. Uh, but yeah, I'm just like that, that. That's the only thing I can think of is they want more hype, they want more excitement. But as time has gone on, people have not talked about it much, and I just only saw it today on my phone with it being like a sort of a you know, Christopher Nolan, you know, somebody who I frequently search on. Various uh, sites like Google or DuckDuckGo, you know, it's like sort of like, you know, because you search for so and so in the past quite a bit. Here's some stuff and articles you you might like about pertaining this person or this franchise. So I don't know. That's really my thoughts. Uh, I'm not sure what the reason is behind the Tenet trailer not being online. Not totally sure what the whole deal is with uh, the whole surprise uh, trailer being with the film. I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Um, Wonder Brothers would know. Uh, I don't know if Christopher Nolan would fully know. As far as I know, he's still filming the movie. Uh, like it's still filming, so. Yeah, really, that's all I have to say about Tenant and the lack of trailer for Tenant. Like, you know, why is the teaser not released? Uh, so, yeah. If you have any comments on it, you know, share them. Or don't. It's your choice. Um, oh, 
before I go. Uh, I, per I recently got this Pabst Blue Ribbon uh, hat. Um, now, for those who saw the, my Blue Velvet video last week, this would have been very appropriate to have worn, but I didn't have this at the time. I, I just got this from the fair. Um, so, yeah, maybe in the next time I talk about a David Lynch film, I will wear this in compensation for not having it. Uh, I did the Blue Velvet uh, video. And maybe I'll talk about Blue Velvet again at some point in the future. I don't know. I don't know why I would. But you never know. Um, plus, I thought this was just cool. Sort of an old style hat. Of how, like, sort of like worn and whatnot. Just look cool. Uh, so, yeah. I don't really wear hats much. I wear them. I wear this hat uh, for these videos because, you know, I might not always be wearing like a shirt. Like, well, here, it's a Star Wars shirt, but, you know, I might not always be wearing a shirt. Sure, I have, like, a movie-themed uh, calendars, movies behind me, three stooges, done various short films and stuff. So, yeah, you know, I might just uh, occasionally break this out whenever... Uh, It might fit with a particular form. I don't know. Otherwise, I'll just be wearing this. My Star Wars hat. Uh, so, yeah. Um, yeah. Again, I don't wear hats much. I, I just don't really... I don't know why. I have a bunch of hats also. Which is interesting. It's like, oh, this is a cool hat and whatever. But I don't really wear hats often. So, it's... I sort of thought at some point I think that was a waste of money because I'm hardly ever going to wear this hat. Um, except for the winter when I will, like, wear a stocking cap or whatever. And I have various hats regarding it for, like, winter. So those are more frequent, and that's but those are the kind of hats I would often get anyway. So, but yeah, I don't know. But it's like this I hardly wear. I've been trying to wear this as much as possible. Until I eventually just put it with my other hats. This is the only hat I keep out to make a videos with to help illustrate it's a you know it's a here to talk about a movie. Uh, yeah. Granted, this was sort of a kind of a waste uh, since it all came from Christopher Nolan and Tenet and stuff and the lack of trailer, but. Uh, I don't know. I just thought this was a cool hat and sort of related to last week's video. So yeah, without without all that said, I shall uh, talk to you all next time. See you all next time. Hope you all have a good week and a good weekend. Just take care. <laughs>